In this brief lesson, you'll learn how to quickly convert fractions to percents in your head. Now to set this up, let's say we're solving a GMAT math question and we get an answer of 11 over 49. But the answer choices are given as percents. How quickly can you determine which of these is the best approximation of 11 49 Well, one option here is to use long division to make this conversion. This is a valid option, but it's too time consuming for the GMAT. Instead, we should be able to perform this conversion quickly and in our heads. Here's how. First recognize that fractions with 100 in the denominator are very easy to convert to percents. So let's see if we can take this fraction, 11 over 49, and find an equivalent fraction with 100 in the denominator. Well, to find equivalent fractions, we must multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. So what number must we multiply 49 by to get 100? Well, if we multiply 49 by 2, we get 98, which is very close to 100. So to get exactly 100, we must multiply 49 by a number a little bit bigger than 2, which will denote as follows. Now if we multiply the denominator by a number a little bit bigger than 2, we must also multiply the numerator by a number a little bit bigger than 2. When we do this, we get a number a little bit bigger than 22. And from here, our conversion is very easy. We get a value a little bit bigger than 22%. From here, when we check our answer choices, we see that only one of them is a little bit bigger than 22%. So the answer must be E. Okay, let's try another one. I'll give you five seconds to identify the answer choice that best approximates 9 over 34. Okay, to convert this fraction quickly in our head, we'll take 9 over 34 and create an equivalent fraction with 100 in the denominator. So what number must we multiply 34 by to get 100? Well, if we multiply 34 by 3, we get 102, which is a little bit too big. So to get exactly 100, we must multiply 34 by a number a little bit smaller than 3 which will denote as follows. Now be careful not to confuse this notation with negative numbers. The notation shown here represents a number a little bit less than 3. Okay, so if we multiply the denominator by a number a little bit less than 3, we must also multiply the numerator by a number a little bit less than 3. When we do this, we get a number a little bit less than 27. And when we convert this fraction to a percent, we get a value a little bit less than 27%. Now, when we check our answer choices, we see that only one answer is a little bit less than 27%. So the correct answer here must be C.